at, in, that, in that same meeting, he was telling me he had a situation where he was about to get a movie deal and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to need you on this because I can't tell my life without you, eh? I'm going to need you on this. I say, yo, brother, when the proposal comes to whatever, get at Sherm and he'll get at me. I said, all right. He left, I left. Years went past, a couple of, three or four years went past. I think that might have been like 2019 when we did that. Time go on. A woman contacted me. We know her, but I'm not saying no names because that's not important. Yo, hey, uh, I got a situation with this lawyer. He want to do something with you and I'll put. He wants y'all to meet. He want to test y'all temperature together because he got something where it was going to be an interview, 60 minutes or whatever was, was ready. I don't know. He was saying all this great stuff. He felt like the world was ready for us to, to talk to the world, Q&A, and do you think this would be really big, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right. He came to the meeting. I was at the meeting. She was at the meeting. We talked. Hotel lobby area, we talked, and we agreed, right? So the lawyer said, I'm gonna email you the contracts or whatever in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks passed, he emailed the contract, I'm looking at it, I ain't like it, a few things, uh, me and my team, we went over it, I wasn't feeling it. So uh, I called the dude, I said, yo bro, can you, I wanna record you I want to record you telling me play by play with these contracts, me. So he said, all right, no problem. He said, I'm going to record it just as well. I said, no problem. So he recorded it. And that was that Wednesday. He said, I need to get this done really quick because I got some investors ready to go on this. I'm like, all right, no problem. I said, that Sunday, I'll be ready to sign. I'll tell you, yeah, your name that Sunday. Right? That Sunday came. I get a phone call early in the morning, bro. Yo, they killed your man. Who are you talking about? Alpo got killed. Fuck you talking about, man. For real, dog. Wow. I ain't believe my hang up. I knew the girl that set up the meeting. She was close with him. I called her immediately. What happened? She crying when I pick up the phone. I was like, wow, it must be true. Hey, daddy, you keep crying. I'm like, wow, get the fuck out of here, bro. The same day I was going to sign Halloween, I get this phone call. I was like, wow. God said, there'll be none of this, bro. There'll be none of this. When I was nine years old, brother, something happened to me spiritually when I was nine on Halloween, bro. And I told this story before. It's in my book. And I said it maybe on another platform somewhere before. But this, that made this whole story make sense to me, bro. And that's the movie that needs to be done from a spiritual perspective to make everybody see that this shit is deeper than what we see on the surface, bro. For real. God don't make no mistakes, bro. For this man to lose his life on Halloween, after a Halloween party, wearing a Louis Vuitton Jason mask, bro. <laughs> that, that's spooky within the matrix of it all, if you could understand where I'm coming from. Fuck the snitch and the killer. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. 